CFA Cup on, on Saturday, we're going into it full of momentum from such a good November, but it's going to be a tough test against Chesterfield. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a fabulous month, there's no doubt about it. You know, you, you look at five five wins on the bounce, I know one of them was at the back end of October but, uh, and, and included the Cup game. And then the, uh, the game against Cheltenham on, on Saturday gone, which, you know, when you look at it, it could be a great point, who knows, at the end of the season, it could be a fantastic point because to be brutally honest, which I try, I try to be with my players and I try to be with the uh, the supporters uh, and the media, that uh, we didn't really deserve to win the game. We didn't do enough to win the game and, and Cheltenham certainly posed a lot of prob problems for us. But we got a point in the end, in the manner of which we got the point. You know, you, you look back at it and, and see if we had a road well up in the 94th minute, we might have got three points. But um, it was a fabulous month and uh, as you say, a bit of momentum coming into uh, December which starts off with the FA Cup second round, Chesterfield, and then four, five games in the league. We're only, I think we're only at home one of them games in, in December, which is uh, which is Rochdale. So, you know, we're going up on the train on, on Saturday, which we did do against Morecambe in the first round of the FA Cup. Hopefully that'll, that'll rest the lads sufficiently because there's a lot of travelling uh, involved. Nobody told me about that when I became himself then manager, but there's an awful lot of travelling involved. And uh, we're going to go to Chesterfield on Saturday with a team that's just starting to come back into form as well. So it should be a, a, a cracking game and a cracking encounter. It'll be a good crowd. It's a great surround, it's a great pitch, and um, I think it's a, it makes for a great FA Cup time. And it's Chesterfield on, on Saturday in the FA Cup. It's, it's a tough game, isn't it? It will be a tough game, but with a squad. But, um, I think they're favourites at the start of the season. Um, I actually worked with the manager, I was on a loan for club, and uh, I think it'll be a tough game. But got respect. You know, we respect them, but we also got to go there and believe that we can go and go win that game. So you know a bit about how the how the manager will think so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I haven't you know, worked with him for a while, but when I was when I did work with him, he was uh, quite organised and uh, quite you nice. Know, gave his players quite a lot of belief, and maybe that's what they're what they're thriving on the moment. We went there early in the season before you arrived, and were beaten. Have, have the lads said said much about what qualities they have? To be honest, no. I've, I don't really know too much. You know, apart from seeing them on the football league show or, you know, results and stuff, but I'm not too worried about that, to be honest. Is the distraction of the FA Cup a, a good thing at this time? I think perhaps maybe it's not it's not a, a good or a bad thing, it's just, you know, we're going to enjoy the FA Cup, hopefully get round to, to the next round and uh, we'll see where that takes us. Yeah, because it would be nice to keep this yeah, course, and guys, yeah, that's the main Maybe get draw, you know, a big club and be good for the fans and good for the club financially, so... And you obviously saw your parent club have a, have a good run in the FA Cup yeah, and like winning it last year. So you must have that excitement about the FA Cup. No, there is an excitement there, definitely. And uh, hopefully we can achieve something, you know, maybe not as well as Wigan did last year, but, you know, anything's possible, so why not? Will Mock to deliver for Newport. It's a dangerous one, and the header is flicked in by Danny Crow. And what a start for Newport. It's taken just six minutes for the home side to go in front, and Chesterfield stood still. It's tempted Pidgeley to come, and the former Chelsea man didn't get there, and Jimmy Ryan has a tap in. Chesterfield back on level terms. It's taken an hour. But now they have top spot in their sights. And Washington is behind Cooper. And Liam Cooper brings him down. It's a penalty to Newport. And it's going to be a red card for Liam Cooper for denying the goal scoring opportunity. Adam Chapman to restore Newport's lead, which he does. And the Welsh outfit are back in front here. And Chesterfield have a real mountain to climb with 10 men. Newport looking still for the goal that would surely wrap this one up. Washington. The tease and torment once more. It's a brilliant save, but the rebound is put away by Andy Sandell. And that will surely do it for Newport. Lead it brilliantly to make the save, but he couldn't get up to deny Sandell, and it's 3-1 Newport. Julie with the flick on, and suddenly it's Richard who's in. Chesterfield have hope. 
but has it come too late? We are in stoppage time. The Spy Rights have a goal back, and it's 3 2 now. Gotta go. It's gotta go soon, but Chesterfield have run out of time. They missed the chance to move top while Newport are closing in on the playoff places. It finishes 3 2.